what is up my crazy subscriber this is Joe King Johnson 74 and today I'll be doing the best class setup for the MG42 LMG I know some of you guys are expecting like shotgun setups and all that stuff you know if you guys are searching for those you guys don't really need to there's a lot of weapons out there that kind of counter the shotguns right now in the game of Call of Duty Vanguard and the way I discovered this best class setup for the MG42 is on Doll's House. If you guys ever played Doll's House, it's a very small map and there's this one long corridor that people keep on rushing through since, you know, you can pretty much get shotgun pretty easily since people hide in corners. So uh, this long corridor, uh, I pulled out the LMG, the MG42, and uh, I just wanted to shoot. I just wanted to shoot forever and uh, I made up for it. That's how I discovered that the MG42 can shut down entire lanes if you have the right attachments on it. So um, you guys are going to be able to witness that a little bit of the background gameplay and stuff. So uh, I'll explain to you guys what I have in this weapon so you guys can kind of do the same thing. Because if you guys have been watching me over the past few gameplays, I've been getting over 140 kills with the MG42. It's a great weapon. It's just that you got to have certain attachments to really make some damage out there. So let me tell you guys something. The thing that really makes up for the damage is the magazine i know people are going to be installing fmj and stuff like incendiary bullets they both work pretty well to be honest but i want it all in one and to give me a little bit more damage so there's this attachment called 13 millimeter anti-material 125 round drums i was also to say mag but um you know it does give you a lot of good pros uh bullet velocity and range so it gives you a lot of range meaning that the damage for the bullet will not drop so much every time you shoot from far away also gives you plus one bullet penetration and also plus one damage so you're pretty much increasing the damage of this weapon just with this one attachment right here so uh every time you shoot through the wall um you know you'll be able to because it gives you fmj automatically and also the damage stays put because well every time you shoot with the wall it lowers the damage but to be honest with this attachment it kind of feels like you shoot shooting regularly so uh, it makes up a lot for the damage and a lot for uh, for the range too so test that out yourself if not you can use fmj or incendiary bullets because the incendiary bullets do make a damage along the way but i moved on from that i like the fmj better with uh you know the anti-material attachment here so uh, the next attachment that i kind of want to talk about is increasing the range even further so there's this one attachment called the cross nick 450 millimeter b42 mg now this attachment right here is way better compared to the other ones because it gives you more bullet velocity more range more accuracy and, and it's highly controllable so that means you're not going to be shooting like one bullet and automatically the weapon goes up like it doesn't do that to be honest you have more control trust me just watch the gameplay in the background and you'll see how far i shoot and i'm still making them shots pretty much count so the cross neck is a big plus along with the f8 stabilizer increasing even more accuracy and also the damage range of the weapon so i want this weapon to keep its damage from long range combat because without any of these attachments you'll be killing people within more than 15 bullets per mag so um and yeah, that will suck you know you want to make some good kills add all these attachments to kind of maintain the damage where it is so um the next one is the vod skeletal that i want to talk about here the aim walking movement speed the aim walking steadiness and also the initial re accuracy and recoil now all of these are big pluses right here because every time you shoot you kind of want to move out of the way when they start shooting back right you want to be quick you don't want to be killed because you, you know you're racking up kill streaks like crazy so you want to move a little bit and want to keep that accuracy at the same time the vod skeletal is going to allow you to do that so test it out yourself and see this weapon with this attachment it just creates it pretty much a very stable weapon when moving so um, i know the crossnick s91 mg could be almost as similar but uh it's more of a stationary thing you don't want to be stationary you know you don't want to you don't want to be at the at the chanka from rainbow six siege you kind of want to be a very mobile guy with a heavy weapon so um anyways moving on to the next attachment that i want to talk about which is uh a little bit important very little bit of importance so uh, i do have a kit called fully loaded <laughs> you kind of need the extra mag because believe me once you start taking down enemies back to back you, you kind of want to have an extra mag laying around because you're just going to reload once and that mag is gone you're going to have to trust on your backup weapon you don't want that you want this weapon to be your primary weapon throughout the whole fight 
add fully loaded i know there's another one called on hand and some other ones that can help you out in equipment but fully loaded is very important since you want to keep this weapon going through the entire time you're alive so i know the reload is pretty slow but trust me you'll find the time when to reload and stuff just just test out the weapon a little bit more another one that i do have is on uh, the proficiency I do have something called disabled it which increases the suppression now I'm not really sure what the suppression exactly does <laughs> that's my only thing about this whole class setup but I do have it on I do have it on and I know tight grip and some other ones could be better but I'm still trying to see what suppression actually does and my beliefs are that it may be every time you shoot an enemy their accuracy goes bonkers like it just goes crazy all over the screen so every time they try to shoot at you and you shoot them back their accuracy is going to drop like way bad so uh, I, I believe that's what it does if it doesn't i'll have to do more research about it and correct myself in the comment section or in the description so you guys gonna be able to read that later on so uh, another attachment that i want to talk about is the heavy foregrip another one that maintains your accuracy pretty well if you guys have noticed almost every single one of my attachments increases the accuracy by a lot because i'm telling you uh you know the stippled grip and the heavy foregrip you know they're very important because you want to make that first bullet count you want to make those first 30 bullets count and make sure that the rest of them stay as linear as possible to make those bullets go into the enemy's bodies if you take away all these attachments your freaking shooting pattern is a circle <laughs> it becomes pretty bad you know you want to make the headshot directly and all these attachments would be super accurate so that is it guys, that's the best class setup for the MG42. If you guys got any questions, any moans, groans, or complaints, you guys can leave it in the comment section, I'll read it later. So that is it, subscribe for more, you guys want to see more Call of Duty Vanguard.